welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam, and this is Twyla. And on this episode, we're in Sydney. Adam, come on, a bit more excitement. We're in Sydney. Yes, we're here today. We're starting off the day by going to look for a little something for Twyla, which we'll tell you all about in a second. But at the moment, we're down near the exhibition center where we've got the crown towers behind us, the brand new building. And um, you can see there's even an IMAX building behind us as well. Let me come around here. Check the size of this out. It's huge and it's in the middle of two uh, roadways. It's kind of really cool. Anyway, all right, Adam, you ready? Yeah. Let's go explore Sydney. While he's making use of the water. What are you doing, baby girl? Getting wet. <laughs> it's really nice down here. We need a convention centre and they've got all this area here. The kids can jump in and uh, get a bit wet on a hot day like this today. And Twyla's loving it too. Go Twyla! So besides showing you around the city, we'll be bringing our van with us. So we'll be showing where we park and also we'll be showing a caravan park that we found last time we were in Sydney that is so close to the city that you can get a pet Uber into the city so you don't even have to drive your van in. But like I said before, we have got our van with us. So this is gonna be a crazy day trying to find car parks. building behind me it's called the exchange it looks incredible it's a big round building and then they've gone and wrapped it in it almost looks of like one they big go all the way around and whipped up this building and it's really cool Twyla making friends already? Yeah, I thought you might have gone. Seriously. There's not much city in the grass. What's that? There's not much city. Oh, my no, God. Not much like grass city. in the city. <laughs> not sex in the city, grass in the city. Hey, Twyla. So what's our first so we've, stop? Just, so we've just arrived at Haichi. This is a boutique dog store, but only one of a couple in Sydney. Um, so we're looking for backpacks for, for Swyla, so she'll be on her back while we're going for hikes. That way she's not too exhausted and we can obviously carry her. All right, let's go in. Okay, so the next girl's in there, that gets that's that gets zipped up. And I can't catch the hair, can they? No. Okay. Yeah. Twelve, you know a bag. Twelve's hopping on the back for the first time. Cute. 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 Cute.
All right, so we're thinking we're going to purchase? Yeah, we are. Yes, this is the Air 2 Plus. So this comes with an attachable bag, uh, which goes on the back, basically there, clicks on. Yep. And we use it for storage, you know, doggy bags, treats, water. And as you've seen, Adam's had Tyler right on his back, and now this is on her on the front. Mm -hmm. So he can have his hands free if he wants. And she seems um, comfortable. She's not and yeah, yet. yeah, she, she seems to like it, because she's with Daddy. So yeah, all right, well, let's get this and we'll explore Sydney. So we've got our bag. Last one in the store and a perfect size, so it's meant to be. And this store's got, uh, well, they do grooming as well, so they do, they'll do your before and after photos of the groomers, our dog treats, obviously clothes, harnesses, leads, the works. So this is where we, our first car park. Adam, how much was it for the car park? Uh, $14. $14 for two hours? Ish, ish. yeah, $14 for two, for two hours. Not yet, yeah, two hours. Yeah, so this, and is, this is on Ultima Road. Ultima Road, yeah, so this is our first, so we're gonna go find somewhere else to park now. But um, yeah, I was just hoping that no one pinned us in because I've got to try to pull out onto the road. But um, I think I should be right, hopefully. Now that <laughs> was scary. <laughs> no, it wasn't scary. Um, but we've managed to get a car park for two hours at the rocks, which well, I'm wrapped about pretty, because- Is this considered the rocks for 800 oh, meters? Oh, well, we're 800 meters close. from the rocks. Um, so that means we'll be able to go check out the- um, The bridge, the, the harbor, bridge, opera the harbor, house. The opera house. And it's gonna cost probably about $14. Oh, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, we've got two hours, we're on the clock now. So let's go check out the harbor. Well, we haven't done too bad, Adam. We're starting right at the start, pretty much. So we're at Doors Point under the bridge, or one end of the bridge. So we're literally under the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And then just over to our right, there's a massive boat. And you'll see the Sydney Opera House. Not just a boat, a ship. Oh, well, sorry, a ship. Yeah, it's huge. Anyway, so we're gonna do the whole walk right around to the other side um, and we might stop at one of the museums that has a really nice um, cafe up the top of it if they're open um, that'll be nice to go check out the view from there too. So this is looking pretty cool. I said so this is looking pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So we're just underneath this part of the bridge and you can see where the rust is on the bridge and all the thousands and thousands of rivets to put it together. It's just incredible. And you can just walk along here, get a beautiful view of the opera house and then of all the water around in the bay. It's so nice. Check out the size of this uh, ship here. It's unbelievable, it's huge. Just spotted some people about to do their walk over the top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So that's where they start and they end up right on top where the flag is. So we just made it to the end of the Contemporary Arts Australia. Well, that's not it. <laughs> this is it here. So I'm gonna go in and take a look. Adam and I love coming to here. I think this is gonna be our third visit to um, this gallery. And um, no, dogs can't come in, but there is a bit of grass, there's Adam and Twyla, and a bit of shade so they can sit there while we take it in turns and go in.
So now this is one of the reasons why you definitely need to come to this gallery, is this cafe upstairs. Check out the views they've got, it's absolutely incredible. You're gonna absolutely love it. And you've got the Sydney Harbour Bridge there. And normally, if this big ship wasn't here, you'd be looking right at the Opera House. This is where you catch your ferries from. We're kind of like in the middle between the Opera House and the bridge now. So I'll just go over here and I'll just show you where you can catch the ferries to. So this is where you can catch your ferries to in all the different times. So what a spot this is. We've got the Sydney Harbour now here and we've got the Opera House just behind us. We're about to go up the steps, take Twyla up there and get some photos and then we're gonna head off. So we made it, Adam, all the way again to the other side again. Well, we're here a year ago. <laughs> Was it a year ago? Was it two, two years ago? Two years ago. Oh yeah, not two years ago. Two yeah. Years ago. But it's such a good walk, you've got to do it. It's a really good walk. Start at the rocks, walk your way around, then we walk back again. And I've just noticed there's a Navy shift over here. I don't know if it's an old retired one or, or an actual one that's in working at the moment. So I'll go over there and show you that in a second. But are we going to walk up the steps? <laughs> Twyla, do you want to walk up the steps? Do you want to walk up the steps? No. <laughs> so that's the warship I was talking about. How cool does that look? And um, you can go across to that island and check it out. It's got all heritage stuff over there. And then over here, you've got the little island where they used to defend the harbour from, I think that's what it is. You can comment down below if I'm wrong. And uh, we'll turn around and uh, see the opera house on this side. Right, I think Adam and Twyla have had enough of this hot sun, so I think it's time to head back to the van. Our two hours of parking is nearly up, and we're going to hit another part of Sydney if we can find a car park somewhere. So Adam's looking at hats again, always looking for a new hat, and so he's in there. We're just behind the art gallery that we went to earlier and there's a whole strip of restaurants along here so if you want food you can definitely grab something here a lot of shade which is quite nice so no luck again no luck <laughs> are you ever going to get another hat color. What, what a gray like a gray -ish. yeah um, Alright, well, we better get back to the car. I'm gonna get We're a fine. Eight minutes. <laughs> eight minutes. <laughs> running short. We are seriously running out of time, but Adam's found the British lolly shop and he couldn't help himself. He's gone in. He's after some butterscotch. We'll see if he finds any. But look at this place, it's huge. So many different lollies. Oh. Only minutes away from the van, but hopefully we'll get back in time. But I couldn't stop, and I had to stop and film this. Look how beautiful this underpass is. It's all carved from the rocks, and then it's got the concrete over top. It looks absolutely amazing. I imagine it's some really nice photo shoots done here. Anyway, we better hurry up and get to the car. Quick, quick, quick. So we've made it back in time. So we've got one minute to spare. Now, what was that place we just walked through, those people told you? Was it Argyle Cut? Yes, yeah, it's called Argyle Cut. Wasn't it beautiful? I can imagine. And this is Argyle Place. And this is our street that we parked on. Oh, Argyle okay. Place. So here we are. Let's go get in the van and find a new car spot.
So I've just spent a long time looking for a car park around what area was around? Oh, Surrey Cross. Hill. No, Surrey Hills. Surrey Hills. Yeah. And do you think we could find one? No. No, no not at all. So we've retired from the fact and we are now go. heading back to the caravan park. Well, well going to the caravan park. We haven't been there yet. And um, we're going to get an Uber back in so we can go out for tea tonight and enjoy our time without stressing because we do have to be at the caravan park by 6 o'clock tonight. So rather than have to rush back there at the end, we thought we'll go there now and we'll come back to the city. Well, we've just arrived. How far? Well, it was about a 19 minute drive out um, to Shirley Caravan Park. That's the number there if you want to stay here. It's only a small park, but it's got everything you need for a night or two. So we're just quickly having something to eat before we get ready to go out back into the city. Twyla's having a nap. She's buggered. We've got her bag out. We're debating to take her bag with us into the city. No, I'm debating, debating. Why, why are you debating for? Well, if it cools down, then she can walk. Yeah, because um, it's, it's, still, it's still quite warm. So, yeah. And we just don't like her walking on the hot pavement. So we've been holding her when it's, it's the sun's on the concrete and then been letting her walk in the shade. And now, anyway, we're gonna have some, what's this one called again? Pa pasto? Pasto Basil pasta? Pesto. Basil, Basil pasto. pasto. Um, I've worked it back out, which is yes. good. Yes, you've worked it out. Yes, and okay. we have a, we'll have an episode on how we put it into this bag and how we Okay. It. All right, cool. Sounds good. I'm just gonna take off and do some dishes, but last time we were here, there was nowhere near this many camper vans. There are so many, plus the caravans, plus RVs, but yeah, a lot, a lot of, camper vans so anyway i'm gonna head up now and do some dishes so this is the camp kitchen you've got a little table and chairs you've got a barbecue microwave toaster kettle sink just all your normal stuff and a bin down the bottom there so if you need to wash your clothes they have a pretty big laundry here so you can get all that done that's the end of the park there so you can go right back there they're more the long-term residents and then you've got toilets bathroom toilets and that's where the laundry was and then way down this strip um, you can see all the camper vans all lined up all the way along there's one two three four five six seven eight and there's one down the end nine quite a few so adam is booking the pet friendly is it uber or is it who is it uh, uber uber and um we've just had adam's had a beer i've had a wine we're having a date night but with our baby. So Twilight is coming, of course, and um, we're heading into the city. Um, we thought, well, I put on a shirt. I thought it would be, you know, a bit special tonight, and I haven't got my hat on. Wow, that's unusual. But anyway, let's get this uh, uh, Uber, if it comes, and uh, oh, head back into just, the city. It's just getting more pricey for us. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's getting more and more expensive, Adam's saying. Maybe the time of night. Yeah, I think so. How much are we up to? Now we're 40. $40. Why is it a big detour for? It's not that, it's only 90 minutes away. I know. Anyway, we're picked up by Uber Pets and we're heading into the city. But it's really nice and cool in here. Adam, you're all good? Mm -hmm. Adam had to run back to the van to get <laughs> Twyla's water bowl. Yes. So he was in a bit of a panic because we had like a minute before the car got here. But he's got the bowl and we're on our way. Here goes our Uber, Adam. Adam, where 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 have you rocked up? Stonewall, customary. Stonewall, of course we have to come to Stonewall. Now we're gonna have a sneaky drink at Stonewall before we're, just um, missing, we're missing Monica and Rob. We're missing our friends who we normally go out drinking with, um, but this is where they hold the Mardi Gras every year, and it's a very special year this year because they had the um, the World Pride here this mm -hmm. year and it was amazing and they've still got all the colours up looks fantastic looks so amazing anyway we're going to take a walk around but first of all let's go to Stonewall and have a drink with Twyla well Adam what have you started your night off with? <laughs> finished up with it. Uh, pins uh, with lemonade. Yes. And um, I've got myself a lem uh, lemonade, as I say. No, I've got a Sauvignon Blanc. And um, Adam, we're, we're creating a, a um, tradition. 
tradition of coming here with Twyla. So we're doing dog-friendly um, Oxford Street. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to have a drink here. Then we're going to move on. We're going to find somewhere for dinner. And then we would love to show a bit more of Oxford Street because it's such an amazing street with so much history. And we're kind of almost, well, we are. We're celebrating, we are celebrating. Um, holiday. <laughs> Adam, it's not all about you. <laughs> we're celebrating the... Um, the B L B T Q R X Y Z plus community. Adam, can you you don't know it either, do you? I do. Go say it. <laughs> the L G B T. Oh my God. The L G B T Q and A. I think that's everyone. I think plus community plus. All right. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, if we got that wrong. But anyway, everyone, cheers, Adam. Cheers. So good way, good holiday. Even Twyla's getting into it tonight. She's partying down, having her water. <laughs> Oxford Street, baby. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if we can get in with Twyla. Well, dog friendly place for dinner. Do you want to sit out there? Yeah. Nice. Right. So for dinner, we've ended up at the Oxford Hotel. Adam's just ordering dinner on these, so you just scan that. Um, can I get the 300 gram rum with pepper sauce, medium rare? And then Twyla's down here, she's allowed to be out here, which is awesome. So she's happy with her red light in her face. What are your size? Um, what, what's the opposite? Cheap salad, mashed potato, veggies. Choose two. Uh, I'll get chips and salad. So Adam, what did you end up ordering? So I've got fish and chips. Well, fish, chips, salad. Wow, that looks pretty impressive, Adam. Mm. That's good, huh? Mm -hmm. And good price too. Yeah, good price. I think it was 20 something dollars. How cheap is that? And that's fish. Wow, that's awesome. So my steak has arrived. I've not had a steak in a while, so I'm looking forward to this. 300 grams of goodness, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. How cool is this? This is champagne painting classes. These are people who are sipping on the champagne. Why they do some painting? This is their teacher up there. Hope she doesn't fall off the stage just drinking. And um, and yeah, and they're painting away. Look how good their paintings look. Well done, guys. Well done. And there's some displays up the top of what you can do if you're in Sydney. Come to a painting class. Just in case you needed a drink, they got a BW. Yes! So we've just come down to the main park in Sydney to take Ty for a walk and uh, we'll show you around a little bit. Just taking a walk to the park, it's getting very dark to film now, but we're at the Rem Remembrance Shrine. It looks so beautiful at night. Look at that reflection. Anyway, we're gonna go get our doggy Uber back to our van and call it a night, but we've had a really good night out. Oh, how cute is this? Adam, you're gonna have to get Twyla. Pick her up and get a photo of this. 
We'll see who's got the wings, you or her. Say cheers. Twyla, here's our Uber. Let's go back to the van. Morning, Twyla. Good morning. Big yawn. Yes. We had so much fun last night. It was so good heading back in there in the Uber. How easy was it? It's only a 90 minute trip from this caravan park. It's so good and just having all the stuff left up from World Pride and getting to see some of that. You know what, the only regret I have is not getting here earlier and being here for World Pride. What a spew. We'll have to do it one year, bring you guys along. But anyway, I'm going to be cooking egg and bacon muffins this morning before we head off. And I'm um, just waiting for Adam, Adam to come back from the showers. So I'm saving on dishes and time today. So I'm just using one pot and cooking the eggs. I've already cooked the bacon. Got these cooked, which I cooked in the pan as well. We're nearly ready. Well, I'm pretty happy with this. Number two coffee. Muffin looks good. Delicious. So we're heading out of Sydney, and how often do you have your own tunnel? We've got it all to ourselves. Well, that's it for another week, guys. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Sydney. Before you leave, make sure you go down the bottom and like the episode. If you're new to our community, g'day, how you going? And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We've got a new episode out every Sunday at 5 p.m. where we do have a live chat. Adam and I get on there to answer any of your questions. We have a chat, all like-minded people on there. So it's just a great little community that we've grown over the times so come along and join the community by subscribing today till sunday we'll see you then at 5 p.m see you guys